go. Hello friends and welcome back to part 3 of the monoblock car amplifier repair. So if you are joining us for the first time, this is the boss repairs and what we do is we love to fix electronic gadgets, car amplifiers, especially on YouTube. If you, as your first time understanding car amplifier boards, then you can watch our videos and you will learn a lot from it. So we recently opened a, a new community online which will be helping the subscribers, the members, sorry, of the community with detailed one-on-one -on -one problems. If you have any problem that you want me to explain, please join the community by clicking the link below, the join button, and we'll do our best to get the replies of our members because if you comment on something and we see you are a member of our community, we will do our best to get back to you urgently. So without taking so much time, this is the part three. I was talking about the positive rail here, the resistor. I changed it. I didn't get the uh, order the other one, but it's gonna take a little bit of a while to come. So I did have a, a donor board around, lying around. So I got the same resistor, and then I changed also all this to the diode and the 2.2k resistors also on that line. So it's always better you change everything on that line if you have a problem because sometimes you can change the, the just the, the resistor but the diode is also a problem. For example, this is the old diode that I changed. Oh, where's the diode? So I will just check it for you to show you that it's it's not good. It was also part of that line. So I will just you can just check it by the multimeter. It's a short which is not a good thing a diode must not shot that way it must give you a reading like this sorry. oh sorry just it must give you a voltage drop you can see there that's a good diode so i changed that zender diode you can see here it's a new zender diode i changed the resistor as well and i changed this 2.2k resistor as well so after I did that, I also saw there were still problems. Then I I had to change the TL4 the, the TL494. I don't know if you can see there. You see the TL494 CN. It's always available online. So I had a donor board and I put a new one. You can see there. So I changed also this PWM module and then everything started working again so I connected my speaker to to the I connected my speaker to the monoblock amplifier because it can drive that speaker and I also changed the RCA jack this is the old jack this is a new one so without taking so much time we're gonna power this meme machine on and enjoy the sound coming from it so stay tuned and let's connect it together so the, the 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 main reason for this video was because most of my videos you will see I either change the MOSFETs or I change the transistors, but this was a complex issue because all the MOSFETs worked fine, transistors was okay, the ICs are fine on this the, the regulators of the sound, but when I discovered that the, the, the positive rail of the feedback was cutting out, it was not going through, the power was not going through, then I saw the problem, but the negative rail was fine all along, so. After I changed the PWM module, the, this M came to life and it played me good sound. So I just want to share with you so that you that sitting at home and want to learn, want to understand what is going on, you can always watch my videos and you will learn a lot from it. So I'm going to put my power supply 12 volts, 12.10 volts. I put it on 5.2 amps just because I'm going to play a, bit, a little bit hard, loud sound. So I'm gonna give the output. So the amp is on. You can see the blue light. I'm just gonna play now some music. And um, I think it's better I don't play music because because I don't want copyright claims. So I will just play one of my channel videos while I'm talking. So you can hear the amp is working. So I just connect the phone to the internet and I'll go straight to YouTube. If you didn't subscribe to our channel, 
please click on subscribe go to our page and click on subscribe because there's a, a lot of interesting videos on the way so you can see we're on 1.29k subscribers you can just click by subscribing so i'm just gonna i'm gonna play the, the part one of this video so you can hear it on the on the Just check the, the RC input. see a rock well I'm excited to go into this so you can see the new machine and hopefully we can get a fix out of it so the, the complaint here the problem with this amplifier is it switches on but it give it doesn't give out sound so we we'll open it together and diagnose it step by step to find out what is faulty and hopefully the amp, the amp can work again and play more music. So without taking so much time, I will start by opening the amp up. So thank you so much for watching. You can see the amp is working good. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. There's a lot of videos coming on. You can see the problem was just there at the, at the positive rail. I'm going to do the check to show you. Put my multimeter quickly to DC volts. I ground my probe and I go here to this pin of the of the. You can see there. I'm getting voltages that I didn't get. That's 9.1. That's a positive voltage. It's not negative. This other side is a negative voltage on this IC. So this IC is supposed to get positive and negative voltages for everything to be fine. So don't forget to leave a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.